armed. Sounds of pressure water system activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Well, it's always exciting when uh, you're getting a new vehicle. And uh, the space shuttle is really unique. It still is the only spacecraft that's ever been built by people that takes off, go, or goes into orbit, uh, and performs a big job up there, and then flies back and lands and gets ready to go on another mission. So it was a very exciting thing to have a new vehicle like Atlantis uh, to launch. I think the most important one, the one that I've been uh, very proud of to be a part of is the Hubble mission that we did on STS-125. Just the, the science alone from Hubble is amazing and just to be able to you know, uh, take all the hardware up and the astronauts up and be a part of the repair effort and the servicing effort was really amazing. Well, it's going to be great to be back on Atlantis. I'm very excited about getting to another opportunity to fly on board Atlantis. Uh, I flew it on my only other mission up to the, uh, the Hubble servicing mission. And uh, now to be able to get to another ride on Atlantis, but up to the space station, um, it's, going to be, it's going to be incredible. Uh, I'll be excited, as, as I always am. But I, you know, I don't relax until after Miko. And uh, you know, it'd be, it's going to be an emotional day, um, and I, I think it's going to be bittersweet. Uh, kind of flying off into the sunset in one respect, but um, but we're still doing, you know, important good work. Uh, we're taking up this Russian module. That's uh, actually its its name in Russian means dawn. So in one way, we're flying off into the sunset, but we're still, you know, doing important work, and and it's the you know, providing more capability to the space station. We, we love all the shuttles. Um, and, uh, but when you start working exclusively on them, when you're responsible for them, you, you kind of grow attached to um, your shuttle. One of the things that I get to do when I, uh, when it, the vehicle lands at a Dryden, which it's done a couple times since I've been the flow director, um, is to, I get to ride on the Pathfinder back with the vehicle. And stopping over at all the places that we stop over, um, we've literally stopped traffic on roads. I mean, interstates people pull over when they see the shuttle on top of the on top of the SCA, and just are just in awe. I mean, they just cannot get enough of it. And you know that to me, you know, when people see it, sometimes it's out of sight, out of mind. But when they see it, they are just awestruck. Uh, could be the last uh, flight of Atlantis and so we're we're going to do our best to pay tribute to Atlantis not just for this flight but for its its whole you know all the flights that it, it's been on and all the things that it's done and all the people that have worked on it. You have to say you know what a magnificent vehicle it has been and uh, what a great job that you've done.